high-profile delegation from Ghana was in Dubai recently to promote the country and gain investor support from the Emirates. Officials position it as a peaceful, growing democratic nation with many things to offer, including the role of the gateway to West Africa's 350 million strong population. It targets a 7.6% GDP growth this year, one of the highest in the world. With oil trade factored in, it comes up to 9.4%. Its representatives argue that investors will benefit greatly with the forecast growth. I'm here to invite you to invest in a country where your returns is far more than 30% per annum. I'm here to invite you to a country where we have resources that need to be turned around to make money. I'm here to tell you that Ghana is a new destination. It's a new destination within the West Africa sub-region, the gateway and the final destination. Since 2008, trade between Ghana and the UAE multiplied threefold to more than half a billion U.S. dollars. Ghana exports gold, wood, aluminium and other metals to the UAE, while the UAE supplies machinery, textiles and motor vehicles to Ghana. But officials pointed out that with the available channels of communication and modes of transportation, trade between the two countries is still considered negligible. We used to have some challenges trying to get our products here, and this was mainly in the area of transportation. But now, with direct flight by Emirates Air, uh, we have no problem. So there is really no reason at all for us to have such an abysmal level of uh, trade between the UAE and Ghana. Officials also said that in Ghana's continuous journey to economic growth, it needs investments and expertise in certain sectors, including telecommunications and energy, two fields on which the UAE is focusing heavily. Zine Zalamea, Aroya.com, Dubai.